Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is the deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Sybil Levita playing cards from Mana playing cards. All right, so what's the meaning behind Sybil? Well, Sybil uh, were known as prophetesses and they were regularly sought out for divine advice. Playing cards also have been used uh, to d divine the, you know, the future, and we go to them uh, for profit telling or for seeking divination and magic. And so this is why the Sybil deck will always have a special uh, kinship between these two fields in its design. Uh, the tuck box is a gorgeous gray-blue color, which takes on a whole new life in the silver metallic ink that's wrapped around it. The tuck case is also unique in that it is a cigarette style tuck case, so it opens from the top right there. Uh, the tuck box is printed in a gray blue metallic ink with a semi gloss finish to bring out the beautiful shine, and it's also embossed with a silver foil stamp to add to the premium quality. It says number three right across the top there. This is the third uh, mana deck. And it does say mana playing cards right there on the front with some Roman numerals. Now, this side of the tuck case had the tuck seal. Yeah, it was printed and put on the side, uh, which I didn't really love because it was, you can see how thin it was and it's right there on the edge and I couldn't really find the, I couldn't find the edge when I was trying to get into it and actually in trying to break the seal open, I ripped my tuck case. I, it was terrible. I waited so long for these cards and then I ripped the tuck case and I had to repair the tuck case with tape. So that, that really sucks. So the, I didn't really love the seal or where it was placed, so there's that. The other side of the tuck case just simply says 52, and then there's a symbol right there. And the bottom has a little bit of ad copy about expert playing cards. The back design, of course, is the back design of the cards, and that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards come from the Expert Playing Card Company and they are done on their master finish. Now, a lot of people always ask how these cards feel, how they handle. Best thing I can do is stick them in a caliper for you and measure them and then compare them against other cards that you may have previously held or owned. So 10 of these cards in the caliper comes to 2.80. 2.80 is about on par with the cocktail party deck that Bicycle put out as well as the gold gator backs from David Blaine. The back design is an enhanced floral back design. It does have a frame with very thin borders and it is all done in this turquoise and silver wash. With this deck, you're also gonna get two original jokers and then within one of the jokers, you're going to have a card reveal. Now here's another thing I really didn't love about this deck. These jokers just don't fit with the rest of the cards. They, they really stand out. They're done on this kind of like uh, burned out, washed out, uh, old dry parchment paper that bleeds all the way to the edge and yet the cards, you know, the cards, the faces are white. So I love the illustration and I had nothing wrong with that. I just wish they hadn't gone with the parchment color in the background. Ace of Spades is very big, very beautiful. It does say number three up there at the top. Uh, you do have the mana symbol there in the middle of a very floral uh, pip spade. And it says mana playing cards, premium quality since 2011. Your pips and indice cards for the most part are gonna be completely standard and instantly recognizable, making them perfect for gameplay, magic, and flourishing. You will also notice that it, they do have an original indice in the corner that does have an elongated stylistic uh, banner that goes under each pip. The court cards are also completely original and very stylized to the theme of the deck. They're all done in the same colors. You have those deep burgundies, that uh, aqua color and black, and then uh, each one kind of mirrors uh, their respective classic counterparts. I will say one more thing about these cards that I didn't really love, and that again goes back to the tuck case. Uh, the cigarette style tuck box just didn't really work for me, uh, especially with trying to get the cards in and pull them out. It doesn't feel like the, the card box is wide enough. They do feel like you have to jam them in if you don't get them perfect. And so I love my cards. I try to keep care of them as much as I possibly can. I thought the cigarette style tuck box was really cool and I wish that it had worked better for me, but it just in my personal opinion, it just didn't work. All right, so that is my review of the Sybil LaVita playing cards. And if you'd like to purchase these cards for yourself, you can find them and many others of your very favorites at rareplayingcards.com. Thanks, bye.